What's going on, Filth and Fair Will Expose? Welcome aboard to episode two of Honest Product Reviews. So last episode, I talked about the Olympic tricep bar. I personally gave it a 10 out of 10. I think it was a great product. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the Arm Blaster. And I don't wanna talk about all the brands, so on and so forth. I'm just gonna be talking about the Arm Blaster in general because let's be real, a lot of them are very similar. It's an apparatus that you attach onto your neck and you have a very stable support for your arms so that they don't move all around. So the idea is definitely good if you wanna isolate your arms a lot more. And that's actually why I ordered in the first place. I cost me around 25, max $30 with the shipping and everything. And I'm doing this because obviously my arms need to get brought up. So I'm using different tools and I'm doing experimentations. And also throughout the years, you know, we talk about Arnold days, all the way up till today, the arm blaster is something that's really been on a roller coaster in the fitness industry. You know, a lot of people talk about it for a couple of years and they stop talking about it. So I just wanted to get my hands on it and really give you guys my personal take because I don't want to judge it without knowing anything about it, without trying it myself. So let's get into it. So like I just mentioned, the idea behind the arm blaster is very simple. It's for people who have a tendency to move their elbows around all over the place when they do their push downs or their curls. And there may actually be other functions for this device, but that's all I know how to use it for. So take the apparatus, put it around your neck, make sure that you adjust it first, and then you put your arms right over. Okay, now we got the easy bar. I'm gonna grab a close grip, stand up, and then you get to curling. So I just showed you guys how to train your biceps with the arm blaster and how to train your triceps. You do the curls with it or you can do the push downs. And if you want to train your forearms, you could also do some reverse curls with the use of the arm blaster. Now it does feel really good when it comes to warm-up sets because this is lighter weight, but I'm going to be honest that it's very uncomfortable when you're using heavier weights. So when you're using like, you know, your 8 rep max or something on a curl or a push down, you're going to notice that it's going to start to pull on your neck, back of your neck, your upper traps and also it's gonna compress your chest a little bit. So just keep that in mind before purchasing the item if you're thinking about it. So if you notice in Arnold's older videos, when he was using the arm blaster, it wouldn't pull the back of his neck, it would go more on the traps, as in this fashion. I'll post a picture on the screen. If you have a chance to get your hands on an arm blaster like that, it's gonna feel a lot more comfortable for you because then you're only gonna to have to think about the chest compression aspect. But now with this one, you have to think about the back of the neck, and the chest compression, so I don't really use heavy curls or heavy push downs with this piece of equipment. I'll use it more for warm up sets, you know, for more for pre exhaustion or for pumping up the muscle at the end, you know, like three sets of 33 on push downs or curls, and that's just that. Okay, so there you guys have it. That wraps up the honest product review for the Arm Blaster. I talked about everything you could do with it, what I like about it, what I'm not too crazy about, and that's just that. So, I personally use it once again for my warm up sets and for my cool downs. You know, if I want to get a massive pump in my arms at the end or if I just want to get some activation in beforehand. So it's really good in that regard. As far as the improvements, what they can make, I say bring it back to Arnold days. You can make it go on the traps instead of the back of the neck. It'll feel a lot more comfortable. And then you'll only have to worry about the chest compression aspect. So as far as should you invest in an arm blaster, it depends how much arm training is important to you. If your arms are really lagging, you could try it out, but worst case scenario, you could also just use a preacher curl at the gym. You know, it's not gonna cost you any money, and that's just that. Also, if you have a tendency like me to move your elbows around when you curl, this is a tool that could actually teach you how to brace and just keep them really close to your obliques and just focus more on that muscle. My mind-muscle connection definitely improved in the last two weeks I started using this exercise device, so just take it with a grain of salt, it's just my two cents. And yeah, so let me know if you guys have tried the arm blaster in the past, what's your personal thoughts on it, what kind of arm blaster have you guys used, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.